Uh, there is one effect that's kind of half baked uh, that I I played with a little bit earlier, but um, uh, yeah. So first, okay. So what we're gonna do? is make a lightning effect. Let's make this kind of electric blue. Um, and I wonder if there's a nice... Maybe that. I want to make it smaller. And we're just going to draw lightning over here and we're going to use draw flex so that we can get like thinner when we press lighter on R2 and fatter when we hold R2 all the way. So we're just going to go roughly from here to roughly over there. Um, uh, and we'll actually move further away so we can get more in. And we'll just make it kind of vaguely vaguely um, jaunty. Um, and then I will use frame by frame. Uh, so if we go next, and I'll draw the same, another one from the same point to the same point, just taking a slightly different path. Like that. And you can actually use L1 and right or left to go through these frames. So let's go right again. That's not good. And one more. Like that. Okay. So by default, if you play time, it will play these at a certain speed. I'm not entirely sure what 10 means. So if I go 1, it doesn't seem to be 1 every second. But 1 every some number of seconds. So, um... So we've got this playing uh, at some speed, and it's kind of meant to be there. Let's just scale it up. There you go. So it's kind of from some point to some other point. Um, so we can kind of use it predictably. Um, but we want to like play this randomly, really. So let's make a chip and. Uh, use for th for this. I'll just use a randomizer for reasons. And we know there are there are four frames in here. Yeah, four down there. Um, so we want four outputs. But uh, as we did before, we use the active port. Um. But the thing is, uh, just like the selector and things, this is 0, 1, 2, 3. And we want to set it to 1, 2, 3, 4. So uh, let's just add 1. Uh, ignore that, that's a bug. Uh, that I've reported in the past. Um, okay, so it plays a random one. Oh, uh, and it's still got speed, so it's trying to it's trying to change over time. I think. So now it's adding one, and if we turn on that, open that, turn that on again. Um, so now it's picking a random one, but we want to pick a random one. Kind of more frequently, so oh, let's just stick a timer in there, have it reset itself so it loops, and make it quite short, and now play it. So it's picking a random one uh, every time that loop uh, that timer goes. Um, 
I think we'll just leave that on actually like that and give it some glow so it's a bit probably a bit over the top but you can make it actually look good in your spare time in your own time so um but what we want it to do is go from a point from some point to some other point so um to do that i don't know if anyone remembers but forever ago the first video i released was how to make posable cable where you can move one end and the other end separately and it would just make the the paint stroke kind of wiggle and stuff in between so we're going to do the similar thing here you uh, using uh, in the physical properties make it physical make it attached at both ends so first what is going on with physical um, So if I just put on some wind strength, you can see you can see the start of it isn't moving, but the from then on it the whole thing is moving really far. Um yeah. So uh that's just regular physical stuff, but if we attach at both ends, then the middle is being affected by this wind. Um, like that, uh, and we can then click attach end to object. So that's the start, and this is the end. We'll just turn that uh, wind off, uh, and we can attach it to this cube. So now when we play, it's going to that cube, but we can move that cube, and we've got this funny artifact going on, probably because uh, I drew it funny. Um, so we can just pose it to from any point to any point by doing that. Yeah, so now you have like a thing, you can put that anywhere you want, and now it's like a barrier thingy, and if you, you probably make the sculpts invisible, non-collidable, and not, oh, and not interacting with the imp. Um, so you can just pose it in edit mode or whatever, and then you can group it all and put it where you want in your level, um, and then scope in and then move the end about. Um, and you could have multiple of them in the same area as like a barrier gate thingy, shield thingy. Uh, you can only make this 0 0.1 up here normally, but if you use calculate, you can make it quicker. Plug that straight in there, and now it's moving faster, maybe. Yeah, so now it's moving double double the speed it was. Um, cool. Uh, 